Welcome to Art Starts Explores. I'm Kay, and I work at Art Starts as a gallery coordinator and preparator. I started the Art Starts Explores program three years ago, and I'm excited to bring a version online that can be enjoyed by families across the province. Today, we're going to explore the theme of tracing. The word tracing can mean different things when exploring art making, such as copying and transferring an image from one surface to another, using an object to create an outline, or drawing an image into or through a material. You can also say that you left a trace when you mark a surface or leave an impression behind. We use tracing to help us quickly make copies, leave outlines or marks to help us cut out patterns, and even to help us learn, like when we trace the alphabet to practice writing our letters. If you've never joined us for Explorers in the past, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about the three rules or guidelines we like to follow. First is respect. We practice respect for ourselves by listening to how we feel, respect for others by listening and sharing, respect for the land by acknowledging the nations and indigenous people who have served and continue to serve as guardians and stewards of the land, and by doing our best to be respectful guests as we learn and play here. Second is no expectations. Try not to plan too much before trying something today. If we get a picture on our heads about how something should turn out, we can be disappointed with ourselves when it doesn't. Try practicing surprise and always ask yourself, I wonder what will happen if I... Third is that nothing is for keeps. In the gallery in Vancouver, we like to say, take nothing home with you except your experience. But since many of you are at home now, we challenge you to unmake everything you try today. This means after you finish trying something, Try to disassemble or take it apart so you can use it again for something else. Try not to make any completed thing, and whenever possible, pull from your recycling bin to practice. And if it can still be recycled when you're done, put it back. Trying something new doesn't need to make something for keeps, and that's just what we're practicing today. Let's start exploring tracing together. Have you ever used your finger to try tracing a picture in the air? As you move your finger, can you see a picture in your brain? What about tracing your finger through dirt or water? What happens? Remember, the ideas that I suggest we try here are just a few of the things you and your family can try to explore together. For today's activity, we're going to focus on using light to transfer or show images through different surfaces so that we can quickly repeat an image and be influenced by lines we have drawn before. We're going to use a window to help us with this. Before we go to the window, I've collected the following things. Tape, or you could use poster tack or putty if you don't want to tape things to the window. Some mark making tools. I know from experience that darker markers or a pencil will show up better than a lighter marker, but try everything for yourself rather than just listening to me. What happens if? If you want to use a yellow marker, see what happens. And finally, some paper. I like to use printer paper, but I also suggest you look in your recycling bin. Old receipts are very see-through, so it's easy to use them for tracing. What changes when you use a blank page compared to one that has marks on it? Try it out. Now let's bring all our tools over to the window. If you and your family are sharing the same window, you can take turns on different layers. If the room you pick has different windows, you could each take a window, then share what you did at the end. Tape up the first piece of paper and draw a mark on it. I suggest not making a complete picture, just a really quick mark. Next, tape up another piece of paper. Notice how the light from the window shows the marks you just drew through the paper? Now you can either trace exactly or add different marks around those original lines. Keep adding layers and add new lines as you go along. When you're all done, pull the pages away from the window and look at each of your drawings. How are they the same? How are they different? Put them back on the window in different orders. How does the image you see when you layer them together change? There are lots of ways you can explore tracing, and today we explored how light traveling through an object can help reveal existing images for us to trace. 
Be sure to download our activity resource page this week for additional questions you can ask each other, as well as some words you can use to challenge yourself when you're practicing tracing. And don't forget, when you're all done playing and exploring, try to take things apart and put them away again so that the only thing that is left behind are the pictures in your brain. Thanks for watching this video today. If you have any suggestions, please let us know. If you're watching this in May 2020, we'll be hosting two live art making workshops over the next couple of weekends on Saturday on Facebook Live, where you can make at home, ask questions, or just watch me practice. Check us out on Facebook or Instagram at Artstarts. I hope to see you then.